Tom here from Lauren Systems, and it's been a while since I did an office tour. These are a lot of fun for me and maybe for some of you because, well, I like to see the way things have progressed over the years and the changes that have happened through the office. Now, one big change, and I don't remember if this was mentioned or maybe it was in one of my last kind of quick office tours, this little retail space, this front area, isn't really used anymore because we don't do retail anymore. So I wanted to mention that because a few people said, well, it's kind of messy or and, uh, things like that. And sometimes there are a lot of projects. Right now, there's not many that haven't been delivered, but they'll stack up up here. That way, they're easy for sometimes either the contractors to come get or our uh, team internally to take out. Uh, that is what gets stacked up here occasionally. We don't really have, and the doors are uh, kept locked here in 2020. So it wasn't because of 2020 that we stopped doing the retail. We actually stopped doing it around 2019. So uh, we have this nice office space where we moved in here in 2017, but man, we're not really using it that much. On to the tech area. Uh, that's where Miles, for those of you that call or wondering who answers the phone, that is where he sits and probably is answering some. Looks like he's answering some of the contact form. Yes, if you have to contact us, there's a contact form. It's on our website. Don't randomly fling emails at us. Just thought I'd mention that for people who have questions. This area, I have a more detailed video in the full office tour of how we built this, but essentially, and there's a handful of computers stacked underneath and projects that are going on, but uh, we built it all so it's one, really solid, and two, it's so things are not on the floor other than the things that are on the floor so we can vacuum under it. So when we slide the computers out, that's why all the bars and things like that go down like this. We have a KVM in here, so when the computers are in, they go like this. We don't really do, you know, retail computer repair, but we still set up. And you may have seen through other videos where projects get laid out inside of here. This is all wired underneath. There's network jacks all the way around and these little connections and this is so you don't have to reach around uh, and plug in there's power bars underneath when you're plugging in things like a laptop but this is the whole tech area and 3d printing area actually over here hard drive shutter and you know we try to keep some level of organization keeping things over in boxes like that now this is my little office and even with this wide angle lens yes it's really really narrow you're usually seeing it from a different angle which would be like this with the microphone here uh, but this is the same office setup I've had pretty much since we moved in. Now, I got this little Joby mount right here. And I'll do some updated videos on some of the gear I use. But I have a new Sony camera. And my Sony camera fits right there. So uh, it's actually in the studio. I move it back and forth. That's why it's on like a quick mount. I'll do some updated videos on that. Uh, but my office tour video I'll leave in a uh, link down below. It really hasn't changed much over the years. Now, on to the cube land as we call it there's a kyle over here sometimes there's a quarry over there that's where all the papers are it's a little messy this is just a spare um where i put my son when he's doing uh the online school he sits here so there's just a handful of things like some headphones there not much just just a spare cube uh this is the wall that has now been sawed in half uh, because this is the wall we did the wall fishing video. We're going to do some more. It's on plan. That's why we only have half a wall left, but that video is coming. That's actually packing material, not garbage and miscellaneous things that Corey has. Now to the back before he starts his next project. There's a Steve in here. This is the, uh, we, is this a Steve cave? Yeah, I guess yeah. something like that. Everybody likes to hang out in here, especially in the winter, because the I got the radiator, it gets warm, we can sit on the couch and have a talk. Yeah, and Steve does not like the lights on, so he would be angry if I turned the lights on. I miss having a window, though, but the insulation on it was pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to put a new window in there. There's a window in there, but it's that's actually covered with insulation, so that's like on our to-do list of things we should fix that aren't fixed. But yeah, yeah. this is Steve's little geek cave. Uh, we'll leave him at it. He's actually got a 5 o'clock booking or something. All right, we'll leave you to it. Uh, servers back here with all the stickers. I've done a few videos talking about this. And of course the uh, Unified Base Station I took apart. I don't know if I've ever done a video about it being taken apart. I've done a video review of it. And then I was like, I wonder what it looks like. And seeing as we just leave it in our office, because uh, it's a demo unit they sent us from Ubiquity. Well, here it sits. Uh, this is some of the recycling. There's actually a little bit up front. We are always crushing hard drives. The hard drive crusher is right back there. And uh, yeah, I've got a video on the hard drive crusher as well, but we make sure we destroy all of that. Now this, not all of our cabling stuff is in here. It needs to be 
a little organized. It's just the stuff that we keep at the office. We have a few other, we have another place that we keep more of it and stocked up. Uh, but it's, I, it does look bad because I, they were going through things that needs to be organized. But when it comes to actually getting work done, they do know where all of the different patch cables and things like that are. So they, there is a method to this. Uh, and of course, all the, like the beam clamps and everything that you see up here. I, this is kind of the miscellany, but we do have quite a few things in here. We do know what, well, I don't know at all. I just own the place. But the people who need to know at this building do know what all that is. Now on to the studio. Oh, look that up. Multiplicative idiocy. That That's important. Think about that next time you're in a meeting after you look that up. All right, down the hallway, past my office, and into the studio. Now the studio, I have a full tour of everything and how it works in here. But essentially what the studio is, is this is how I see it. Now, normally, and I left this all on, actually got a, my laptop set up here. Actually, let me log into it real quick. So I'm usually sitting here. I look up occasionally because that's where I'm looking at the lens. That's when I'm looking up. There's that other Sony camera on the little mount. This is how I can do things and actually adjust this to do things like to do a top down shot. Or we just did a rack studs video. We actually had it at this angle because there's the rack studio. We actually, that's on wheels and we just, Rolled it over there. Those are the weights. The rack stud video is the one I posted just before this video. And, uh, but this is what allows me to switch things around. Now, right here, we hit this and you can see it switched to my laptop screen. Probably some glare on there, but I've got a whole video breakdown of how I did all this and all the little pieces, but these are black pipe that you can buy at the hardware store that has some beam clamps attached to it that handle everything. And there's a switch underneath here that we've got with another bar. This is how easily we plug things in. But when I flip that switch, it actually turns off everything. It goes up, turns off the lights. All these are wired together off of one switch down there. So this is like what the whole studio area looks like on this side and on this side. Here is my crash cart of things like patch cables, network cards, power cords, and things that I'm working on reviewing and testing or uh, all the miscellaneous. This is where it ends up until we pull it back down for more testing. Now, the next part is the kitchen. So right here is kind of the other side of the studio. We, we talked about putting a wall up to separate the studio from the kitchen, but I like the fact that we can wheel things around and move things around a lot, including like the TV. This is kind of like that AV cart back when I was in high school in the 90s, how you can just wheel this around. Now, these are also on like a quick release, and this allows us to quickly remove this TV and uh, roll it completely independently by itself, or just spin the TV around if we wanted to use it for uh, displaying something while we sit at the kitchen table over here. So it kind of gives you a, another idea of the back of the studio over here. I try to keep things hung up and organized. Here's just some extra equipment. These are some uh, booms that fold up, some other stands uh, when we have to put photography equipment up. And of course, the firewall. The wall of hot sauce over here. A lot of these are hot sauces that are empty because a lot of them have to be refrigerated. I guess you could almost call it like a trophy shelf. Um, this is something that actually they reached out to us, the, the hot ones and the people that did the game. And uh, we're going to put a video together on this. It's been our to-do list of uh, doing it. The funny part is we don't find the hot sauces is really hot. So the truth or dab, we'll, we just we like eating hot sauce. We do this all the time. We've done all these you know hot challenges and. Uh, different crazy sauces and things like that. It's a fun thing we do here at the office. Now, over on the other side is uh, some of the other kitchen and miscellany things they have over here. But uh, that's all for the kitchen area. It's really not that big, uh, but it is kind of where we do hang out. We actually have a lot of meetings in here and things like that too. So amongst ourselves, not really, we don't have people that come to our building other than friends. Uh, well, less so in 2020, but you know, mostly the staff and eating together is part of the culture, I guess you could say we have here for uh, doing not just hot sauce, but just discussing what we have going on each day. But this is kind of that full big view of everything that's in here. It's uh, not that big of a building. Like I said, it's only right around probably 1,800, 2,000 square feet. I don't remember exactly, somewhere around there. Um, but that's it. That's uh, where all this stuff happens and gets produced. Oh, and cabinet over here where 
all the, uh, this is all the extra photo gear and, you know, accessories for the studio lenses and, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I'll leave link to like the studio review, the original build of the office, which has been a while. If you want more details on what this place looked like before any of it was done, but this is what it looks like right now in December of 2020, uh, questions, comments, concern, leave them below. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.